this is a song which a devotee is praying and uh, asking his mind. Bhaja hure mana. Mana means maya. Because at the present moment, our mind is the driver. And this body is just like a car. In the Bhagavad Gita, as it is stated, Brahman Sarvabhutani Jantra Rurhani Maya. This body is a car made of this material nature. The living entity, what we say, I, I am now seated on this car prepared by the uh, nature, material nature. And the driver is the mind. And the driver is not in my control. The driver is taking me anywhere he likes. You see? I am personally, I am not able to drive. I have engaged one driver which is called the mind. And this body is a car and the mind is carrying me like driver anywhere it likes. So therefore, the proprietor, uh, I, I am, I am requesting the driver. Yeah. When I am helpless, so, I am requesting, my dear mind, Vajra uh, Hure Mana, my dear mind, Mana means mind. You kindly worship Lord Krishna. Sinanda Nandana. Sinanda Nandana means Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna appeared as the uh, son of Vasudev, and he was uh, accepted by Nanda Maharaj uh, uh, as his, uh, what is called, son who is uh, accepted from others. So he, he was his foster father. So he's requ I'm requesting that. Mm, you worship Lord Krishna who is Avayachara. Avayachara means he is the fearless shelter. If we take shelter of Krishna, then we become free from all anxieties. That's like a helpless child when he is taken care of by his parents, he becomes careless, carefree, not careless, carefree. Similarly, oh, I am requesting, my dear mind, you do not drive in this way dangerously. Please oh, mm, worship Lord Krishna, who is a uh, mm, fearless center. Vajra hure mana sinanda nandana abhaya charanara bhindare. His lotus feet is a fearless shelter. One who takes shelter, as the Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, sarva dharman paritanja mami kang saranang vajra. Now, either you say Krishna or you say uh, super consciousness. Super consciousness is impersonal conception of Krishna. And Krishna is personal conception, conception of super consciousness. Because Krishna means he is not only super conscious, but he is supreme 
bliss and supreme knowledge. Supreme knowledge means super consciousness. And eternal, uh, supreme consciousness, supreme bliss. That is the definition of Krishna. Now, <clears throat> then and the devotee says that Dullava Manava Janama Satsange Taraha Imhava Sindhuri. Now, this body, this humanly body, is Dullava. Dullava means very valuable. Um, uh, it is obtained with after a great struggle of existence, uh, we had to come through so many species of life, aquatics, birds, then trees, then reptiles, then uh, beasts. Uh, there are uh, so many, so many. There are 84 Lacks, minus eight million four hundred thousand species of life, and we had to pass through by gradual evolution. This theory is accepted by Darwin also, evolutionary theory. So this human body is very valuable. Uh, so he request, my dear mind, mind of course the in the lower Animal life, the mind is there also. Also, mind is not developed, but they have got mind. It is a, a, a in in a very lower animal uh, living uh, condition. The mind is not at all developed, but at least in animal life there is mind. Now, uh, the devotee requesting that this uh, life. This human form of life is very valuable. Uh, don't waste it. Don't waste it, but uh, you just to make your life successful in the association of saints and sages. Saints, saints, S A I N T S, saints and sages. No saint. Saint. Yes, saints and sages. Yes. So uh, you uh, should not make association with anybody else, but you make your association only with saints and sages, and make your this valuable human form of life uh, success. Don't waste your time. Uh, you worship Lord Krishna with the help of the saints and sages and make your life successful. That he is requesting. Don't drive in this irresponsible way to uh, put me into the uh, ocean. Uh, and he, it is also requested that uh, we are just like in the ocean of birth and death, this uh, material uh, cosmic situation is sometimes explained as the ocean. And these planets, they are uh, explained as islands. And actually, they are islands in the air. Uh, just like we have got islands in the sea. And ocean. Similarly, uh, these planets are islands in the air, air islands, so many planets. So he says that Dullava Manava Janama Satsange Taraha E Bhava Sindhu. Bhava Sindhu. Bhava Sindhu means this cosmic situation uh, where but her death is going on continually, one after another. Eh? So you stop this business of repeated birth and death. You make your and, and this human form of life 
successful and um, get release from this disease of birth and death. Birth and death is a sort of disease for the living entity. Okay. It is not the normal condition. Uh, due to our uh, this uh, abnormal <coughs> engagement in the material body, we are put into the birth and death. Otherwise, I am not uh, subjected to birth and death. I am eternal. Huh? I am eternal. Uh, <coughs> So he requested that don't waste your time. Uh, my mind, because mind is taking me here and there. So uh, he is requesting mind. It is very philosophical. Uh, this is uh, concentration, requesting the mind. Don't put me into the uh, oh, I mean, ocean of birth and death. Please. And, and save me and just make your life successful in the association of saints and sages. Uh, that is my request. Bhaja Hure Mana Sinandatha, worship, worship of Lord Krishna or the Supreme Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, association of saints and sages. That makes our life success. Association of good persons and at the same time, simultaneously, uh, devotional service to the Lord. These two things combined can make our life success. <coughs> How do you call the world the Lord? Uh, yeah. Lord, we worship Krishna, the symbol of supreme consciousness, uh, because in the Bhagavad Gita it is said that Klesa Adhikatarasti Sham Abhakta Saptachita Sham. If you take up impersonal, simply consciousness, that you will have to pass through uh, a difficult process. But if you Accept the symbol Krishna, the symbol of supreme consciousness, that will be easier for you. Yes, it is said. So, hmm, Krishna, I can concentrate my mind, I can focus my mental my activities in the service of the Lord Krishna. And because He is supreme consciousness, therefore, automatically I concentrate. And the Supreme Consciousness. So, Baja Hure Mana Sinandanandana Abhaya Charanara Bindare Durlava Manava Janama Satsange Taraha Ebhava Sindhive. Then he says that what I am doing, what is my present occupation? The present occupation is Sita Yatapa Bata Bharishana Edina Jamini Jagide Bifale Sevino Kripana Durajana Chapala Sukhalava Lagide. He says that I am working hard day and night. And there is no question of winter or summer or rainy season, I have to work hard day and night. If there is night duty in the winter season, I have to join my office at 12 o'clock at night. So I must go. There is snowfall. If I don't go, then I will absent. So I am working so hard, very hard. And what for I am working? Just to serve persons who cannot protect me, who cannot protect. We think 
that and my wife or my husband or my children or my relatives uh, or my friend uh, and oh so many mm, we have got a relationship with this material world and everyone is working to uh, satisfy his relatives a family man is working so hard because he has to satisfy his wife, children, friends, and so many other things. <clears throat> but uh, one should be conscious that um, these friends and relatives, uh, they cannot protect me ultimately. Uh, they are neither I can protect them nor they can protect me. You see, everyone is responsible. Everyone is responsible for his own activity. Uh, besides that, now, suppose if I am uh, constructing a high building, a skyscrapers, just like you have got very good experience in this country. If somebody asks me that why you are building so high building, what what is the reason? And if I answer just to set fire in it, uh, then the the man will laugh. You simply for setting fire. You are at, at, at spending so, so much money uh, and building this uh, high building for setting fire. Yes. So this sort of answer is just like in our present activities. Now, of course, you and, and take the dead bodies to the crematorium and. And, and I mean to say, put into the grave. But India, and India, of course, there is grave here for the Mohammedans and the Christians. But the Hindus, uh, they uh, burn the uh, dead body. They burn the dead body, you see. Uh, in the Bhagavad also, these three systems are record that the ultimate. Uh, transformation of this body will be uh, either ashes, uh, stool, or earth. Here, uh, earth, stool, or ashes. Uh, how it is? Now, because after death, persons who burn the dead body, that will turn into ashes. The, this body, this beautiful body, will be turned into ashes. And uh, those who bury in the graveyard, that will turn into, or oh, that is, oh, air. Yeah, don't disturb you, yourself. That is the air. Uh, if we bury in the ground, gradually the body will turn into earth. And uh, according to the um, Iranian system, the body is thrown uh, to the vultures. They eat it. Uh, so uh, that will be turned into animal stool. You see? So that is the last stage of this body. <laughs> so everyone knows that everyone will die. He still, we are working so hard. You are making our bank balance. You are to, uh, just making wheel and uh, papers just to give protection to our family or to our children. And there is no time. Everyone is very busy. But uh, he does not see that the, all these, what I am doing, all this body ultimately become either as or an even stool, or 
turn into earth. So why I'm taking so much time? Therefore, uh, uh, the revealed scripture advises that you have to maintain your body. That's that's all right. Uh, but for simply material uh, comforts, you should not devote uh, uh, time more than it is absolutely required. That means don't increase your bodily necessities. Don't increase your bodily needs. And that was the standard of uh, Indian civilization. They did not, the sages and saints, they did not advise to increase the necessities of the body. They, are, and I mean to say, um, plan the social system in such a way that people should be satisfied only for, by the bare necessities of life. We require some eating, we require some sleeping or sheltered place, uh, we require some sense gratification, and we require some <clears throat> protection from enemies. Uh, yes, come. <laughs> kind, kind. <laughs>